Hello, Class 5-3. Mr. Waterman here with today's language arts lesson in period two. It is Friday, October 23rd, 2020, and I hope everyone is safe and well. By now, we have read the story Brothers and Sisters, and we have done a few activities together in class. Now we are mostly working from our Brothers and Sisters workbook. Today we are on pages 100 and 101. Okay. Let's look at page 100 first. This activity is called a graphic organizer. This is a generalization chart. Okay. A generalization is an opinion that people have about something or someone. Right? It's their belief. Our directions, it says complete the chart below as you read brothers and sisters. Complete the generalization sentences and find examples to support each generalization. Okay? So now, I am going to show you how to do this. Okay, so what's going to help you find supporting examples? They give us the page numbers here. Okay. Generalization. A new baby blank life for everyone in the family. Hmm. I'm thinking a new baby... I'm going to say changes life. Changes life for everyone in the family. And it's okay for you to go ahead and use the same one because I think it is true. Anytime a new baby is born, of course things are going to change for everyone in the family. Here's why. Let's look at some examples. Supporting examples, pages 164, 165, and 166. I'm going to look at page 164. I will read it again. Ben has a newborn brother, and Dory has a new sister. Sometimes having a baby and the family is fun. Okay, so I think this is important information for me to look at. Sometimes having a baby in the family is fun. Then, our new baby is so soft and tiny that I want to cuddle her all the time, says Dory. Okay. So for my supporting examples, I'm going to say... Having a baby in the family can be fun. And then I'm going to say you can cuddle with it. Okay? So then what you can do is you can find an example from page 165 to support that idea. Please listen as I read page 165. But sometimes a baby is not so much fun. Babies can't do anything by themselves, says Ben. Mommy still loves me, but she is so busy taking care of the baby. I have to play by myself until he takes another nap. 
and a supporting example from page 166. Please listen. I'm so tired of hearing everyone say how cute the baby is, says Valerie. I like to hold my baby sister all by myself, says Michael. So does Leo. So what examples can you give from page 166? Please write your examples here. Then there's another generalization. Please listen. Older children blank younger brothers and sisters. Write your idea here. And then you have to find examples from pages 166, 167, 168. So I have already read 166. Please listen as I read pages 167 and 168. Jasmine and Juanita have baby sisters who have learned how to walk. She's old enough to get into trouble now, says Jasmine. Lots of trouble. I help distract my sister, says Juanita. My mom says I'm the best helper with the baby. Ah, help is a key word. So let's go back. Older children, blank, younger brothers and sisters. I just gave you a big hint. Help. Older children, blank, younger brothers and sisters. What verb did I use there? And then there's your example that you can write from page 167. See how that works? Page 168. My sister always wants to do what I'm doing, but she doesn't play games the way you're supposed to, says Alicia. Sometimes, says Judson, we have so much fun together. There's a hint again. Sometimes we have so much fun together. So that might be a good sentence to write for page 168. Okay, and that is going to be it. You have these two examples that I've given you, these two hints. Now let's look at page number 101. I did that in yesterday's video. All right. Page 101. Spelling beats. The directions say, write the spelling words, dividing them into syllables or beats. Use a dictionary if you need help. Let's read through the words together. Flower. Water. Under. Over. Better, sister, brother, mother, father, after. Okay, there are 10 words. Now, you should know how to do this. We do this for jolly uh, spelling, jolly grammar every week. I like to use my hand to count the syllables. Let's look at number one. Flower, flower, how many syllables? Flower. Okay, so I've done that and I'll cross it out. Next one water. Water. I count again. Water. Speaking of water, waterman. How many syllables is my name? Waterman. Okay, now I've done two examples. 
please do the other eight on your own, okay? And what I would like you to do after that is I would like you to choose, I'll put a star here, choose five words from above and write a sentence for them. Okay. Choose five words from above and write a sentence for them. I will have notebook paper there for you, just like yesterday. That's it. Take care. Stay safe. Be well. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.